Hi, everybody. It's me. Um, let's see. Uh, the last video I did was a really quick, I don't know, hopefully inspirational video. I don't know, maybe give you some ideas. It was about um, an album that I made that I dedicated to my best friend and I, our relationship and our friendship over the years, since 1988. Um, if you saw the last video, you've seen this. I'm not going to go through it. My whole point to doing it was to... Uh, set that aside. Was to, um, hopefully, you know, give somebody some ideas of what to do, maybe how to feel better, that type of thing, through all of this um, social distancing and self-isolation, self-quarantining, that type of thing. And it'll give you something to do, hopefully. Same best friend um, gave me this when I went to visit her and stayed a couple weeks with her in June. Um, we were cleaning out um, like a, a junk room, so to speak. Things that she hadn't been able to get to for a while because... Uh, she can't get up the stairs anymore. She's in a wheelchair. But uh, she gave me um, this old photograph album. Now, this album, honestly, I believe is like from the 20s or 30s. Uh, I, I couldn't, don't quote me on that because I don't know. But in it was photos of her family from way back when from Italy. Okay. Uh I mean, her last name is, well, I can't tell you that. So, I mean, that wouldn't be a good idea. Anyway, she's Italian. Straight up, almost off the boat, Italian. I know her daddy is. Uh, and so the photos were beautiful. She gave me the whole album, photos and all. She says, I don't know these people. Anybody who could tell me who these people are are no longer with us. So I really have no use for them. Asked me if I wanted them. And I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I went through this a few minutes ago and found some photos I had missed because I had taken all of them out or what I thought. But look at some of these awesome, awesome photos. You know, that she, oh, there's one of those old timey photo um, corners. You know, look at that. I mean, these photos are fabulous. And these are just the ones I missed. I mean, this whole thing was full of, uh, you know, old time photos. Some of them you can tell have been bleached out over the years. And, uh, <clears throat> so I went through and I cleaned it all out and even kept the, these photo corners that were really big way back in the day <sighs> and cleaned it out. Well, it was really cool. See, I'm thinking I got all the pictures this time. <laughs> Last time I flipped through this, um, I found those. So, But the only difference is these pages, you can tell, are not archival, which means they won't... I mean, they've apparently done really well, so they might be. But um, I wouldn't think that that was such a big thing back in the day. Yeah. All right. But she did. She gave me this, and I absolutely love it. And it's really cool because you can take it apart, add pages, you know. And there's an extra extra string here, you know, if you have to make it deeper, that type of thing. So oh, it is a really great idea. And this type of thing is, is around now. So all of that <laughs> to say, I found this. Not those yet. In a discount warehouse. Um, and when you open it, guess what? And what's really funny is, um, I had this. I got this before I went to visit her. Not having any clue that she was going to give me that. And uh, I absolutely love it. I'd love to try and make my own, you know, styled in the one I just put back. But um, we'll do that in another video, maybe. But this one, I wanted to make 
my daughter had lost a lot of her photo albums from when her children were babies. And of course, because I'm grandma, I have triplicates and duplicates of everything. And I told her I would go through my stash and create an album with what I have so that she can at least get some of those memories back. You know, like pictures when she was pregnant, um, in the hospital, the very first hospital pictures, that type of thing. And uh, she's got five boys. Whew. So the first three are the ones that she lost the albums for. Um, and uh, there's a big old long story for that, but I'm not going into that. Anyway, so I had this paper pack I bought from Tuesday mornings. It was a really beautiful paper pack. Um, I got it for four bucks. And it's double sided. I mean, and it's good thick paper, not that real thin, you know, like 10 pound stuff. But uh, it's good. So I went through and I picked out some pages that I wanted to start with just to decorate the front and the back. And uh, these are the ones I chose. See, there's the front. There's the back. Both of them are really pretty, but I really like this with the design on it. And it looks like it's embossed and, and all of that. So I, did, I cut one for the front. And then the exact same sheet, what I did was I just flipped it around. Yeah, I flipped it around and did the top. So that way, you know, on the front, this will be on this side. On the back, it'll be on that side. So, and then I picked two more that kind of coordinate. The words are upside down. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, and I did the same thing. I cut the bottom half and then I cut the top half of each sheet. So when we do the inside decorate, oh, I'm going to have to trim that a little. Huh. Kind of the same premise with, uh, you know, being the same but a little different. And that helps coordinate as well. So that's what we're going to do for the inside. But I'll have to trim these. So, I mean, I could probably take this off. It's not hard to do and slip these in. But I mean, why? I want it to be handmade. Well, probably because now I can't get it around. Huh. Anyway, there we go. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to bounce everything around. But, uh, you know, I want it to be handmade. I want it to look like it was handmade, but not look, you know, too bad. So I decided I'd go this route. And this was the front. Now with the craft paper, it's almost like construction paper style. So I'm pretty sure a liquid glue will work, but I'm also going to use tape. So I'll put tape on it on the corners, but then I'm going to also add liquid glue to it as well to help. So let's do this. I'm going to put this off to the side for a minute. <clears throat> I'm going to get it right on the edges. And if there's some that hang off, like right there, um, all I do when I pull the tape is I just fold it back on itself.
Okay. So I'm going to pull that off and then any, any overhang, I'm just going to fold it back over on top of itself. Okay, it would probably help if I had something sharp to do that with. Because my fingernails, even though they're sharp, a lot. There we go. And there's some overhang on the tape on the outside because I really got it close to the edge. But all I'm doing is just folding it back over. I just want to make sure the edges are nice and secure. So... That one didn't even didn't even set right. Um, some people will use their bone folder to secure the tape, and sometimes I do as well. using a lot the only I don't like using liquid glue so much with paper um, only because it tends to want to wrinkle your paper or um, make it buckle now I just used Eileen's you see that um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it a little bit so we don't have one big lump of glue in one spot because I don't like that glued paper look. Unless it's, you know, Mod Podged or something like that, then that's different. But I don't, yeah, that's just my personal preference. <clears throat> Just so that nothing is like just in a big glue glob. Uh, okay. Baby wipe. Another helpful hint is that uh, sometimes the tape will help secure whatever you're gluing while the glue dries. So now I've got this upside down. I've actually got it right side up now. Alrighty. So we're going to put this down. And I'm going to smooth it. Now, the only reason I went ahead and decided to add the liquid glue this time around is because the paper itself is of a thicker stock. It's not or a thicker weight, so to speak. It's uh, so it wouldn't buckle as badly. <sighs> And there is your perfect background. Now you can add words or typing or whatever, flowers, lace. I'm thinking lace, but because of the black ribbon, I don't know that the lace is going to look as good. <clears throat> so I might do something else. Folder. Make 
sure there's no air bubbles. That's another thing I don't like about glue, liquid glue on paper is the air bubbles. There we go. And there's just a little bit of an edging. Just a little bit. Not on the bottom, but on the sides and the top. And then, of course, right here. <clears throat> All right, let's flip it over and do the other side. Set that over there. And we're gonna do the same thing. Um, a lot of times you need a good quality double stick tape. Okay. depending on what you're using it for. You do. You need a good quality. But good quality costs a lot. And double stick tape is not that cheap. You would think it would be. But it really isn't. I found a really good deal. Okay, so that's it for that roll. All right, this is quarter inch um, double sided double sided tape. I get like ten rolls of these for seven bucks, and it has quite a bit. And I got it from AliExpress. Um, if I'm use if I'm making you know like uh, cards, um, which I'm not a big greeting card type of person. I tried when I first started crafting, but I don't think I had the knack. At least I don't think I was any good at it. But we are our own worst critics, right? Anyways, so I think I spent uh, about 20, 25 bucks and I ended up getting like 50 rolls of uh, double-sided tape. Now, it won't hold up a small Volkswagen bug. Okay, I'll tell you that. But for what I use it for, you know, with scrapbooking and uh, mixed media and even the occasional greeting card, I don't have a problem with it. Um, and if it's on something that I think might not hold, I'll just add a thin line of glue. But this stuff, like I said, I got about 50 rolls for about 20 bucks. And it's a good size roll. Okay. I might as well since I got it out, right? <laughs> All right, so let's pull these off. And again, I got it right off the edge, so I'm just going to roll it back on itself. Okay. When I first started crafting, I was so, so worried. Oh my gosh. I was going to be crap. I was going to be, you know, the worst ever. I had no imagination, no nothing. Okay. Well, you can't feed your muse or you you can't have a healthy muse if you're not feeding your muse. Meaning, what I mean by that is, you know, if you just sit around and wish you could craft or wish you could crochet or wish you could quilt. Like me right now, I'm wishing I could quilt. But, okay, the caveat there is um, I haven't actually sat down to try. 
So, of course, my brain thoughts, my, you know, mindset is that there's no way I'll be able to do it. Well, I haven't tried. Same way, like when I made my first junk journal, it was a big undertaking. It wasn't just something that, you know, I was throwing together some, uh, you know, some scrap papers and, and, and things like that when I first started out. I was doing a memorial scrapbook for my grandma who had passed. I mean, I went out and got the perfect paper. I got the perfect, I mean, you know what I mean? I went and got the perfect stickers and graphics and everything, right? Because I wanted this to be perfect for my grandma, even though she had already passed. And I was so nervous. I sat on it for like, oh my gosh, probably a year, maybe two years before I finally just said, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to watch some videos and see how it's done. And I watched and I watched and I watched and I kept thinking, I'll never be able to do that. I will never be able to do, I am not that talented. There is no way I am not that talented. Okay, so let's see. Here's the front. Here's the back. <sighs> That's how I wanted it. And uh, I just, I kept watching, I kept watching, I kept watching. And one day I was bored and I just said, you know what, screw it. And I sat down. I mean, I even picked out fabric and lace and the whole nine yards. Because I wanted part of it to be, you know, um, Uh, covered like the binding covered in lace and then half of it covered with this really beautiful and I got fabrics because she was a really big seamstress so of course that was you know that was something that I really really wanted to incorporate into this journal to honor her but you know what the funny thing is is I finally got it all done there's some parts of it I don't like obviously because it was my very first journal but for my first time I thought you know hey Pretty daggum good. And you know what's funny is none of my journals since then, to me, you know, look half as good. Might just be because of the, the, the sentimentality and, you know, how the first one meant so much more. But ever since then, it's like all my journals have fallen flat to me. There's a couple I've really liked, you know, like my very first themed journal was my Halloween journal. And, uh, and then I did a, a dragonfly journal, a steampunk mermaid journal, um, and then a couple of just regular junk journals that I used with my jelly plates and, and papers that I did off of, off of another live stream. From uh, Pink Poodle Crafts, uh, and we would make these giant pages, and um, I would use those and things like that. All right, so there's the front, and there's the back. There's probably not much to it, but. Uh, let's do the insides. I believe I had to trim those, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, those are the ends I want to trim. So let's put this off to the side. Uh, and since it's just two pieces, I'm going to go ahead and trim them together. Usually, I would not. Yeah, see, that's probably an eighth of an inch, if that. 
Well, that's about a quarter, I believe. A little less than a quarter. All right. This one on the front because that's right across the middle and then this one I'll put in the back all right so uh, let me do the same thing and we will be right back okay here's the inside probably My bone folder. Now, if you don't have a bone folder, I mean, these are really inexpensive. I believe I got mine at scrapbook.com and it came with this one and uh, a little one. If I can reach it. You know, and you use it on your scoreboards when you're scoring fabric or fabric paper, cardboard, things like that. This one's got a little bit of a sharper edge to it. You can see that than this does. Let's see if you can see that. There we go. Um, so I don't use this one for paper very often because a lot of times I've realized it'll tear the paper. So I'll use the thicker one. These are also really great to, you know, smooth out papers and stuff like that. Especially if you use too much glue on something and you squish it all to one side and then you can take your wet, your rag and just wipe it off. <clears throat> all right, so there's the inside of that one. Yeah, I think it's going to look really pretty when it's done. Set that up there. And then on the back, I've already put the tape on it. I don't remember if I've like rubbed it all down or not. What do they call this burnishing, I guess? Me, it's rubbing it down so it sticks. And I have noticed, obviously, this is so much easier than sitting there for 10 minutes trying to grab a corner with your fingernail. This came off the edge, so I'm just folding it back in on itself. Obviously, that was much, much quicker. So let's glue this really quick. Now, if you have a thinner glue, right, it won't bubble up so much on a thinner piece of paper. But uh, this is Eileen's Tacky. Uh, so it's kind of on the thicker side. And some people don't care to, you know, rub out the bumps me it's just a pre personal preference it's not that I'm OCD but it drives me up the freaking wall <laughs> so let's see you know love repurposing old albums and things like that because you get those even the plastic ones you can even buy them at the Dollar Tree now at the dollar store and uh they're, uh, you know, I mean, they're, they're cheap. They're, they cost you a dollar, maybe three or four dollars tops. And then inside you've got those, you know, album pages that you 
pull back the whole sheet of plastic and it's semi tacky underneath and <clears throat> well, a lot of people don't use those anymore or want to upgrade Let me make sure I've got this the right way up okay and so this is a great way to do that it's even and see when you're even rubbing it down with your hands you can feel where the glue was and this like I said this is a thicker piece of paper so but for me you know I don't like those bumps because I'm always afraid you know if something catches it wrong it'll it'll tear like it would if it was an air bubble or something to that effect. Yeah, see, I don't even feel any. Ah, that's from the ribbon right there. But, there we go. All we did was the outside, front and back, inside, front and back. And it made a world of difference. Now, if you wanted, you could get your paint brush and paint that in, or I'm not going to worry about that. What I want to do is, now see, black ribbon and white lace would work. White lace doesn't really quite match this. And I'm not sure I want to go that route yet. So I'm going to let this go for now. And something quick, something easy. Two sheets of paper. Four sheets, actually. Four sheets of paper and a notebook. And Bob's your uncle. Imagination is limitless. There's a lot of paper in this. And a lot of room here for expansion, you know, if you make it a thick, if you, you know, stuff it. And you've got your little bow, which you can tie. And there we go. All done. Like I said, I'll come back again and Maybe embellish, maybe not. Um, I'll dig through my stash and see if there's anything. But honestly, I kind of like it plain as it is. Because what's important is what's going to be inside. So, I'm going to let you go on that. I want everybody to have a wonderful day. Please be safe. Please be careful. Um, always remember to find the humor in life. Because if you don't, life sucks. And uh, if everybody enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't, eh, you know, hey, you don't. But that's okay. Like I said, it wasn't rocket science. It's not brain surgery. It's just a little bit of creativity with, like I said, four sheets of paper, some glue, and some tape. So have a wonderful day. And uh, hope to see you soon. Bye.